Good afternoon, this is Jeff with Sewer Tech Northwest. Today we're at property address 13532 Southwest Roshack Road here in Tigard. We are located, and I describe everything as if you're standing in the street uh, facing the front of the house. We're on the left side of the home, about halfway back up the side here, underneath the decking. Got a three inch PVC clean out. We're going to check the overall condition and serviceability of the sanitary sewer line. We're going to have water running here in just a moment. We are zeroed out. And off we go. All right, about immediately upon access, the line transitions over to ABS plastic. On the way out, I'll get a gander there to see if the line transition diameter or not. Camera scraped a little stuff off the bottom of the pipe right as we dropped in there. But this property's already got a pretty good setup for a sewer line. It naturally has a slope to it, which is ideal. Anytime you have a naturally sloped property, your likelihood of ending up with settling issues, a gradation problem like a belly or something of that nature, goes down significantly. Until you get down to the street level anyway. By the time you get down to that point, most of those things become completely insignificant anyway. Alright, making a transition here over to 3034 PVC pipe. Thus far, nice looking sewer line. And quite a clean sewer line to boot. And you can keep your line looking this clean. This, this line relative to most homes is extremely clean. And the number one thing that keeps your pipe that way and or gunks it up if you don't mind it is putting fats, greases, and oils down your kitchen sink drain. And grease buildup is responsible for more blockages than I can tell you. We have a little bit of it right there at the end of the sewer line. The vast majority of the line here is super clean. So there's the main there at about 78 feet. We're going to let the line drain out here for a few minutes. We're going to go locate the camera head, and we'll pull back and take a better view of everything. So far, nice looking piece of pipe. <clears throat> All right, located the camera head successfully. The line ends up terminating on the main on Snapdragon. So that's the, as you face the house from Roshack, that's the street directly to the left of this house. My camera is upside down right now, just so you know, in case you haven't figured that out. My auto leveling cameras are in the shop at the moment, so. Anyway, little tiny bit of grease filled up there at the end of the line. My camera just plowed through and busted pretty much all of it loose. Even if you had a big chunk of thick grease there in the last two feet, it's still essentially meaningless. It, it, you'd never be able to develop a blockage from that far away down a hill like this, but anyway, that is the only example in the line where I can even hardly say there's any level of buildup at all. My camera just blew through all of it. All that'll break loose on its own now. Anyway, if you if you put cooking oil and grease down your line on a consistent basis, you can very quickly uh, get your line to look just like that throughout the entirety of it. So this is a great example of how to treat your line right here. All the 3034 PVC pipe that looks great. That appears to be four inch diameter 3034 PVC. We don't see any diameter changes as we come back to the ABS and PVC. We know that's four inch. That little bit of gunk at the top of the pipe right there, what that is from is from debris hitting the bottom of this hard dive and splashing upward. That's all that is there. Very common thing to see at the base of hard vertical drops. 
same thing there. When debris hits the uh, hits these hard slopes, that water does not just magically round the bend here and remain in the flow lines. You can see how my camera runs into the top of the pipe right there. Same thing happens to debris moving through the line. It's moving at such a high rate of speed, it just flies right into the top of the pipe there. And this line's a cruiser. It has got an amazing amount of slope and grade to it. All right, we're gonna flip the camera around here and run backwards. Everything from the clean out access to the main lateral connection, all of it is in great shape. Has good flow, very clean. We just flipped around, we're now going backwards. Right here, this is the dive as the line dives down to exit out of the foundation. So at this point here, we are back inside the crawl space. Everything from that point forward is all exposed piping uh, that you can look at with your eyeballs in the crawl space. The home inspector takes a look at that stuff. That's a fantastic looking sewer line right there. That, that's about as good as a sewer scope can go. Great flow end to end. Everything's in good shape. There's nothing about that line I could nitpick structurally, even if I tried to. Sewer line is functioning properly at this time. And so, and as a kind of a general idea here, the, the line does not go straight out from the left side of the house. It kind of, it veers toward the front left corner of the property, um, but it turns and shoots out long before getting to that point. It does a bit of a zig and a zag. I'll put a little bit of a diagram on the report. kind of gives you an idea. And great looking line there. It is functioning properly at this time.